Alright, went to O'Reilly, picked up some vacuum, I mean gas line to fix the broken line. Some multi-purpose sealant to seal off the pet cock. Two new bulbs for the tail light. And two brand new NGKR series DR8 HS spark plugs. Marvel Mystery Oil, starting fluid, and oil. Now yesterday what I did with the old carburetor on the ATC 110, the bowl and stuff, I have this spare carburetor off a little Chinese clone, uh, Honda clone motor, little Chinese copycat, which is the same carburetor but everything is turned around on the other side, like, it's backwards. So, put the bowl and stuff off of it and put on there. Well, the petcock for the other one, for the clone only has one intake. The intake on that one has two, which means this one doesn't work, even though this one is good and the other one's broke. So this multi-purpose sealant here, I'm going to take that multi-purpose sealant and spray it all on the edge of the old one, put it back on there, and hopefully it'll get me through until our new carburetor comes in from eBay. So I'm going to start working on this, and I will add on to this video later. But this is the, so here's the broke one, and here's the bad gas line that's almost dry rotted out to hell. And so I'm going to put the other paint glue on there. And I did get it running last night and we did it good. So, just this update. Thank you. Alright, we're on channel 5. As I was saying about this little pet cock with the bad gasket on that on the ATC 110. I told you how I picked up this sealant to seal it off. Also, I pulled the choke. This is the Chinese clone carburetor. And the choke lever on these go in on this side, like so, and then you just bolt the little metal flap in. Well, the original Honda ATC carburetor, the idiot pulled the choke out of, completely gone. So, this is what was left of it. So, I pulled the choke mechanism off of this one, the, the Chinese clone, threw it on that one just to have something on there until our new carburetor from eBay comes in. So, what I'm going to do now is show you how I'm going to seal the old pet cock up. If Zach right here will undo that little package right there while I walk over here. On this ATC there are, wait a minute, no, no, just hold it. There are two little Phillips head bolts and the one on top has stripped the thread so it's pretty much just holding on by a miracle. So the bottom one is the one we've got to get broken off. So I'm going to get this off I'm going to put it on the workbench and I'll show you what I'm going to do from there. Alright, so I've got the old pet cock off, and as you can see this one has two inlets, a reserve and a regular gas on. The Chinese car one only had one, which acted like a reserve. Um, other than that, they are identical. So I put this one on the tank and then come to find, oh wait, it's only got one inlet. So I was going to put a screw in the line, but then it would have built up pressure and just blew it out. So I decided just to try to clean this one up the best I could and use it. So, And then I've got all kinds of jets, main jets, idle jets, kinds of goody goodies, pieces of choke levers and stuff left over from the other carburetors, and the old petcock. For this one, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of this epoxy and then let it dry. So, I'm going to probably stop the camera right here, apply this resin, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've got it on there. Alright. Alright, so here's the finished product for the most part. I'm just going to apply a good little layer of this brown goopy resin. And you're going to let it sit for just a second. The directions say to clean the surfaces, which I'm not going to do. Apply thin film, allow sealant to air dry for a few minutes until film becomes tacky, then assemble. So we're just going to let it sit here on our little workbench. Well, so they're goody goody stuff. And I'm going to wait for it to adhese. Yeah. Yours. Yep, sure is. And while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and throw one of these taillight bulbs in and see if we can't get some magic to happen. So, yeah, and the spark plug. So, I'm going to stop this video here, move on, and then I'll pick it up and pick it up again. Okay, that's the 
upgrade this tail, everybody. Anyway, that well, have a we put the new spark plug in. Put the new spark plug in. I put the pet cock on with the glue sealed around it. Went to pull start it. Sprayed some ether in it. Went to crank it. And uh, ripped the pull cord. Completely off. So, remember I said we bought it with the pull cord broke. Well, spray it broke again. So, now we are just sitting here with a broken pull cord. A I bunch told, of fish out of water. Yeah, a bunch of fish out of water. Ask Zach. He's going to take the pull start housing off. And I'm gonna rewrap it. Alright. I'll update y'all later on. Alright, well, got the full cord out. Took the recoil assembly apart. Got the, uh, the winding mechanism out. I've got to fish this, the new piece back in here. Here's where it snapped. You can see the difference in how clean it is. We're gonna have to replace this eventually. All that grease and dirt built up in this rope is just gonna keep breaking. But for right now, I'm going to thread this rope back up in there, tie a new knot in it, and put it back together. Hopefully it'll work. Alright. Alright, so I've wound the new pull cord up in there. I got the rope through it. And now we're just sitting here waiting on it to burn some of this excess off. And it should start dripping in a minute. It will literally just drip off little balls of fire. And that'll look pretty cool. So, once this thing burns enough, we'll be good to go. Like it just did, it just got a little bit of fire. Alright, well, I'm going to keep, there goes another little flaming ball of fire, so it's almost done, it's almost where it should be, and then we'll be done, alright. Alright, we're at Sky 95, after using all kinds of tools and pliers, and cutting off that giant excess amount of recoil on the recoil that broke, because the wire thread came out, I got it fixed, it is back on there. It doesn't go all the way back in, but when you pull it, it goes, and this will be fine. I can just stuff it down in there. So that's where we're at now. I'm about to throw some gas in it and try to get it going. Hopefully you get to see it run. I've got the new plug in there. About ready to go. All right. All right, well, you may or may not be able to see anything, but this is the uh, 84 Honda ATC 110 that we're working on. Put your eyes on. And as you can see, we've got it running. Go, Zach, go. This is it. We got it going. And this is the little four track 70. But there he goes. You can't see him. I, it, took, it took this long for us to get it going. So, we broke the pull string. I got it fixed. Um, got it fixed. So I haven't put the new line on yet, gonna wait for the new carburetor, but we did get the tail light and the new spot plug in it. So there's a little ATC. I mean the four track seventy with Reno. And uh yeah, we got them going. Here it is one more time coming into the barn. Eighty four Honda ATC. Three wheeler. This guy has a carburetor leak, we still have to get that fixed or the shutoff valve is on the pet cop, but we did successfully get it running today. So more videos to come. Keep keep watching and subscribe if you haven't already. It's been MSK95. Thanks for watching. Peace. XRTTT.